This is definitely the hard part about raising animals as a homesteader. Well, this seems very crazy to me, but this could be one of the last times I'm carrying one of these 50 pound bags of pig feed all the way to the back of our property. We've had a few changes happen this week about how long we're gonna end up having these pigs. So like I said, this could be the last time for a lot. This could be the last time that I'm pouring food into this container for them also. And it's a very weird, sad, exciting kind of feeling. Before I get into the details of why this process is sped up for us, let's get all of our animals fed. We have chickens that still need to get out and get some food, but I came out for the pigs first today. These chickens in here have been running out like crazy and I want to get a good view for you guys when I let them out this morning. Watch them run down this little path right here. They're ready for their breakfast this morning. So we've had some news about our pigs that's kind of changed our final date that we're gonna have them here before we send them off to get processed. We had an initial day in our books for about November 6th that that was gonna be our last day having these pigs here on our property. And then all of a sudden, just late last night, we got a text from a guy who was coming actually to our property to process the pigs and help us with the whole thing, which I'll make sure to film because I think it's gonna be really helpful for people who might be in the same situation as us. And basically saying how the place that we are going to end up shipping them to after everything's done here on our property, it has a little bit of a conflict scheduling a little bit. And could we either do it on the 27th of October, which is about two weeks now ahead before what we thought, or wait all the way to the end of November. And I'll tell you what, it's hard decision. It's one of those things like, well, maybe we can keep them just a little bit longer than we thought. Let's keep them for another month and a half now. Wait till the end of November. We've had these pigs now for about 13 to 14 months. They're at the size they need to be. We're not going to get them much bigger at this point. So it's almost like delaying it just because we feel bad that this is going to happen. And that's the reason that we got them. We just have to realize that it's time. So we did end up saying that the 27th will now be the last day with these pigs. I know when you take care of animals, one of the main things that people say, especially ones that you're gonna end up be putting in your freezer when you're done, is not to get emotionally attached to any of the animals that you're taking care of, because it only makes it harder, and this is the reason why we wanted to start homesteading and why we got them in the first place. But something that you take care of for over one whole year, and you raised them ever since they were six weeks old, these pigs were so small when we first got them. It's hard not to just build that little relationship with them. They are so much more like a dog than I thought. I thought pigs were just like crazy, hungry animals and all they wanna do is just eat what they can nonstop and just, they look at you like your food and they looked at us like we give them the food, I'll tell you that. But otherwise, they were like so friendly, we could actually pet them and that was probably a little bit too bad on me, like I said. I think I ended up just building too much of an attachment. So it made it harder for me, it made me wanna say the end of November, but it's time, so here about in eight days from filming this, the guy will be here and we'll have to say our official goodbyes. Our split flock chicken project is still going really good. You can see here's all the Splash Morans. Well, here's Big Buck, but he's actually going to a new home here in a couple days. And then here's all of our other egg layers that are not Splash Morans. Those will be for us, and these will be for hatching eggs to send out to other people once the time comes, once they actually start laying and fertilizing the eggs. But until then, we're just waiting. The only problem right now that I'm seeing with these Splash Morans is they really wanna make this chicken tractor their coop, 
which I still have in here because they've been using it as one, but it's gonna start getting really cold and I don't really want to winter proof that one. So I want to winter proof this, this hoop coop to be their main coop and I just need the time to do it. It's probably gonna be a job here in the next like week and a half, two weeks because this probably won't be winter proof. I'm gonna try to move it, maybe connect the two things so that they have a more space while the snow comes down in the winter time. I want this, like I said, to be their main coop. And here for our main flock, everyone seems to be settling in pretty good. Four of the new six chickens in this flock are roosters. We wanna to try to keep two of those roosters. And one of them I've been able to hold really good. He's over there. Um, he might actually be coming to me. No, maybe not. He's this one right here. Right here, starting to walk down, but. So the two we actually wanna get rid of is, I know this breed of chicken everyone really likes, is we have black copper morans. We have two of those roosters and trying to find a home for them. Back to the emotional attachment thing I was kind of talking to about the pigs, is like we have nine chickens here in this flock that were our first original nine chickens. This is what basically started our homesteading journey. We haven't started our garden yet. We had no animals. All we had was our property here. And originally our plan here is to be more self-sufficient. So our idea was every single year we're gonna bring in more chickens for this flock because as they get older, they're gonna lay less eggs, which we're already seeing happen right now. So we thought about the idea, like every two years, whatever flock that we were bringing in, is that'd be one that we would go ahead and process. I don't think I can go ahead and do that anymore. I was actually just talking to my wife about it. After two years that we have chickens now, instead of doing that, I'd rather at least give them to somebody else that maybe wants laying hens. They might not lay as many eggs as those people might want, but they're still gonna keep laying eggs and it might be easier for me. I don't think I can at least go ahead and do it to any of our original nine chickens. That is just like those special kind of connection that you build when you first ever bring home this kind of animal. Here's some fresh greens from the garden. This is the tops of our celeries that I can throw in the compost bin for the chickens. There's something I like about throwing stuff into this compost bin and just seeing the chickens go crazy. So far with anything that we've processed, it's been really easy. because It's either been a mean rooster, which has been absolutely terrorizing for us, or it's been our meat chickens that we raise for our family. And it's kind of easy not to build a connection with them because you raise them, you put them in that chicken tractor, you're moving them every day, but you're not really hanging out and holding those chickens and not really building that special bond with them. Like I said, we did with our first original egg layers because those ones you wanted to hold and be with and it was so cool because it was the first time ever raising chickens. So it's been pretty easy to not build that kind of connection with our meat chickens for anything that we've processed. But that is where it's hard for the pigs. We were so excited to have pigs when we first got them. We were around them all the time and now it's just getting to that date and I don't want to say it as in like you don't want to love them because you do want to make sure you're taking the best care of them still. But I just don't think I'll be as like so attached to them that I felt like I felt this time around for the pigs. So if anything I could say, and I know that people out there will say sometimes, oh, the more you do it, the easier it gets. I don't think that's ever gonna be true, but I think it at least be true for not the first time that you take care of a certain animal because there's just something special about bringing them first to your property and how excited you get to learn how to take care of a new animal here. We're gonna leave you guys at that today. Have a great day and a better tomorrow, and we'll see you guys on the next one.